get some of the well, hello, welcome back to Tail 3 Cabins. We've been on our way back from a month long trip we took down to Florida, slowly making our way back. And I got a kind of an interesting video, but we were staying in a campground, I believe you pronounce it Ama Lacola. And it's just right around Springer Mountain, Georgia, where the start of the Appalachian Trail is. But the one thing about this campground is it's uh, almost on top of a mountain. So um, it's a very steep grade. There were a lot of warnings when I first checked out reviews of this campground. If you were towing a trailer, to be very careful to make sure you know the capability of your truck. They don't recommend certain vehicles to go on top of this mountain to get up to these campgrounds. This is a very nice campground. We saw the start of the Appalachian Trail and did a few other things up there. There's a nice lodge up there. But one thing that struck me out of the ordinary one evening was an 18-wheeler that was stuck up there. So for some reason, this truck driver's GPS took him up to our campgrounds. I'm not sure why that happened. Apparently, there was a perfect storm of things going wrong. So there was nobody at the gate to warn this person when he first showed up. His final destination was to go to Kentucky. He had no uh, reason to stop where he stopped. And I'm not sure why his GPS took him through where it took him through. I would think normally truckers' GPS would actually take you on trucking routes. Make sure that your tractor trailer is not going to go under bridges that are too low for it, sticking to highways and state routes. But for some reason, he apparently made it up to our campground. Once you get up to our campground, it's a narrow road and it's a pretty sharp turn. He got to a part where you're going to turn around to come back and basically almost jackknife. He got stuck, his drive wheels were spinning and uh, he could not move. If you watch this channel already, you know that I'm a retired fireman. I've been retired for about three years now, and I've seen my share of car accidents, and I've had the utmost respect for the tow truck driver. Throughout the years, I've seen cars off the road, flipped over in ditches, in creeks, culverts, on top of each other, literally hundreds of different car accidents, and it's always the tow truck driver that comes at the end to clean things up. They do it quickly, they do it efficiently. Sometimes they gotta use a little ingenuity, but never fails. They get the scene taken care of, cleaned up, and usually within a timely manner. But in this video, this tow truck driver is going to have probably the most challenging situation of his career so far. So this all started around 6 p.m. in the evening. Initially, some of the park workers contacted the county, and they were going to send out their own record from the county, but I think they changed their mind on that. About an hour and a half later, the police showed up and written a, a citation to this truck driver, asking to put out some cones and some flashing lights, and I believe a private tow was then called. Let's go ahead and set them out. About an hour and a half after that, it's 9 p.m. now is when the wrecker shows up. No one gave him a heads up that he probably should have backed his way in. Once he got to the truck, he realized he's going to have to turn around, back out, find a spot to turn around, and then back down again. The truck driver did not carry any emergency tow hooks to attach to the front of his grill and there was no tow hooks mounted on the front of his frame. So the tow truck driver did have some that actually fit on his particular truck. Now if you're curious what's back in the trailer, it is 70,000 pounds of glass. Sheets of glass. Now the first step in this multi-step process is to just get his cab back on the road, on the pavement. When he first got in this predicament, he tried to get himself out, constantly spinning his tires. We're not sure if he burned up the transmission or not. Oh, 
Now just getting the truck back on the pavement is not going to be at the end of this problem. Because it's such a sharp turn, the trailer is in danger of hitting a tree. To get a better angle on the truck, the tow truck driver is going to reposition. The cab is on the pavement, it's gone about as far as it can go without falling into a culvert here or hitting this tree. The tow operator is now telling the truck driver that he's going to have to circle around and go to the back of his truck and try to lift up his trailer and move it over. This is the area where the drive tires were spinning. <laughs> Oh, I got, I think I got video. What's that in the about? I mean, been a while or? Oh, hang on. At least six. So the tow operator is getting in position to try to lift the back end of his trailer to see if he can move it over and get it to a better position to get his truck totally out of here. Now it's not entirely clear what happens next here, but for some reason the brakes let loose. And not only let loose, they push the tow operator's vehicle almost into a tree. The tow truck is about an inch away from that tree and now he's pinched between the truck and this tree. We solicit the park service to see if they have any 6x6 six six blocks we can put underneath the wheel. If I can get this road unblocked, yeah, yeah. he's on his own. Yeah, yeah. Leads over there. And, oh, he's got enough wheels on the ground. He should have never moved. I think. Uh, I something. That man don't need to be driving no truck. I'm sorry. Not up here. First of all, when he come up that hill, he realized. I know. I'm surprised. Stop. You know. I'm surprised they don't use a GPS that tells you that you're going under low bridges and shouldn't have told you to come off here. I don't say it got under that power line right up there. Yeah. It nearly hit the top of my truck. Still a little 
Yeah, I'm like, who let him in the f***ing gate? Yeah, exactly. That's what, that's what me and him been talking about. I'm well, like, nobody in the gate after a certain time. Oh, yeah. But still, when you come yeah. through the gate, you it see was six, it. It was 6 o'clock when I took my first video. So, probably You're 5 joking, though. Probably 5, maybe. Yeah. He tried for a while, you know. But when he got stuck, I kept telling him, stop. Like, you ain't getting the help. Um, Either of you guys ever drive a truck like this? Oh, yeah. I mean... I don't think he should be behind the wheel. I don't think he does. I don't, I don't think, think one of you driving. guys should be. If we can get it secured with some wood or something to set still, then I may try to, well, I mean, we got to slide the bike over. It's already on that bike. Yeah. I'm worried about your truck. Well, I'm, I'm worried <laughs> pushing both of them all down in that hole right down there. Say what now? I'm worried both of them going around down in that hole right down there. That's what I'm worried but he, about. But he, even him pushing you another foot you're going into that yeah. tree it's gonna bust the whole front end of my truck off that's a million dollar truck i don't know yeah, seven hundred fifty thousand yeah. dollars yeah. and just let it go backwards and turn right around that turn that's all he's got to do if the brakes are hold the truck uh, there's a lot of if worry about your truck that it's first gonna and be foremost easier to get him out going that way than it is going that way because that turn right there is yeah, but that trailer had to be plumb over here to make that turn. Yeah, I've been watching him drive all day though. I don't know if he's gonna be the one to do that turn. He ain't drinking or something, is he? No. Honestly, I don't think English is his first language. I think this is the worst day of his life. I bet right now. Well, see, I can't even. I, I can't even move mine. I ain't got but what that car that he cut through. Yeah. Hoping to get enough room that he can raise the arm in the rear of his truck up and that'll give him more room in the back to maneuver. I thought for sure this guy was going to crush his hand. Operator's got to go find his turnaround spot again and back into this area. Ron, you drove all the girls back to your uh, cabin. Let's get it unstopped. All we can do is get out of the way. Let's hope we get to, I mean, if you leave the wheels turning, it ain't got no choice but the jack now, so it can't go far. No, but you're saying get out of this. Yeah, I would. Yes, I would. I don't. Yeah, no, I know. I, I don't want. I don't want to take a chance y'all getting hurt, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I can get him to come on back here, if the trailer's right here, I'll slide the trailer over and we're going to pull him straight back. Okay. Done and over with. Right. Better than trying to go back up that hill. Yeah. Turn your wheels to the right. Keep what, the tractor over here. I've seen him try to back it down, I don't know. But then again, I understand you guys not wanting to get up in there, then you're liable, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. that's it. And see, if I can get him, that's what I should have done. Triple I, check, I, he understands your instructions. See, he, that's the thing. He done had know, a jack knife right there, and, and, and I couldn't do anything. Yeah. I had to pull him forward for him and get him backwards. I think it's going to probably go right back to how it was. 
Well, if you do what I tell him, it won't. If you turn his wheels to the left, his tractor will come over here. I know English ain't his first language. I would just triple I'll check. I'll get up on under, the side of the truck. Triple check he understands what you're saying. All right, ready? Well, yeah, we better well, wait, wait. Yeah, they're still in there. I'm, I'm getting them out right now. That's fine. Yeah, I ain't, we ain't rushing. We don't want to pull those out. Too. I just don't want to take a chance. You found no, Yeah, I mean, it is. Yeah. This thing's just a all the uncertainty, especially with the truck's brakes, we're having the people the in the canvas tents here. vacate for the I time being. I can that and drag it back over here. Right. Yeah. As long as he don't get that tractor over where he had it before, we're fine. I'll move the trailer where it needs to go. We just need to tell him to hug this corner. He needs to keep the tractor in the road. Don't worry about the trailer. Right. I'll handle the trailer once he gets it back here. I'm sure his legs are getting sold. Oh, that's right, you told him over. I told him not to let off of him. <laughs> well, look, you got to understand that foot pedal is going to put more pressure than the than the lockdown brakes. Yeah. Because they're on springs. Yep. I mean, that's a sign that his brakes is either wore out or he's right. just too heavy. We're all the average. We're out. My family's out of that. This family's out. I, don't, I, don't I mean, that's the last damn thing I want somebody hurt. Yeah, no, everybody, I think everybody's out of the way. There's nobody in that one over there. I yelled in there, no. No, okay. Unfortunately, the truck is set back on the blocks and the blocks will not come out. They're going to try to get his truck in gear and see if he can move forward. So not positive with the state of his transmission is. Looks like the tires spun, but the truck did not move at all. All the weight is still sitting on those wood blocks. Tow operator set up a pulley system. He's going to try to lift the back of the trailer and then slide it over using this tree. that didn't do much. He went and turned the wreck around, now he's back on the front side of the tractor trailer where he rehooked up his wedge, took off enough weight off of the truck so they could pull out the blocks. Not knowing the full status of what's going on with his brakes, he's going to stay hooked up with his wedge and just slowly start lowering the truck off of this hill here and hopefully he'll take it as far as he can before the trailer is going to hit something in the rear. Once that's done he's going to have to come back around and hook up to his trailer and see if he can slide it over.
can definitely hear some of the stress on the frame of this trailer. The wrecker once again came around to the front of the truck hooked up just to make sure that it wasn't going to let loose. I would think before this truck makes the venture down this steep grade that it came up on that it's going to have to have a once over by a mechanic check things out. So obviously they got the truck in a position to where um, it can be taken down as we were getting up to leave that the truck was still parked there, still had his flashers on, out of danger but not out of the campgrounds. I'm assuming that the company probably had another driver come up there more experienced so they could back it out to where they can get into a position where they could turn it around and get it off of the mountain safely. But that's about all I know. So I appreciate everybody watching these videos. I hope you click and subscribe. Click on that little bell when you want to know when a new one is coming out. And uh, keep an eye on us. Take care, everybody.